Hi guys, this is my hat camera setup. Uh, 3D printed um, bracket, 3D printed uh, whatever you want to call that, bit that goes over the lens to try and stop lens flare from the sun hitting it at various angles. Um, I bought this fairly recently. I bought it off AliExpress and it was listed that's an Orsec Q44. Um, I bought it because it was the cheapest one I could find at the time that had EIS, Electronic Image Stabilization. In the picture, on the listing, it actually had Orsec written on the front here. When it arrived, it didn't. So I've no idea if this is a genuine Orsec or whether it's just a generic one that they've posted to me. I've done a fair bit of work to it because there's problems with the sound. I was getting a rattling noise. Um, I didn't think I'd cured it, but certainly in recent use, it doesn't seem to have the same rattle. I did quite a few things to it. I um, There's a, there's a Wi-Fi aerial that rattles around inside and I've uh, secured that with blue tack by taking that apart and sticking it in place. I've changed the microphone and the main effect that had is made it quieter so obviously the microphone I fitted isn't as loud or doesn't pick up the audio as well as the original one did. That may be why we can't hear the rattle so much now. The other thing I noticed was the OK button on the top here rattled a little bit. It was actually loose in the casing. So we've just got a bit of black electrical tape over it to stop it rattling around. So I've done all that to try and stop it rattling. Um, but today I was talking, or in the video that I was filming, I was talking about the fact that I'd turned off the electronic image stabilization. And the reason I turned it off was I was finding when I'm filming my model aeroplanes and drones and that sort of thing, with image stabilization switched on, we've got a narrower field of view than we do with it switched off. And when we're just following an aeroplane, we don't really need image stabilization. When I'm walking to the flying site with my hat camera on, it does bounce up and down and we could have done with image stabilization. But once we're actually there and we're trying to follow the aeroplane around, we don't want image stabilization. So I switched it off. And the end result was still couldn't see the aeroplane. It still kept going out of frame. So I don't think its viewing angle is as wide as it could be, or as it is on some of my other uh, action cameras. So I've just done a little test, which I will show you where it's got three settings. If we switch it on, we can have a look. To get to the settings, we hold that button in, and then we step through to get to the settings. And then once we're there, you see I've got, well you probably can't see I've got it on. Let's bring it in closer and see if we can refocus. There we are. So I've got EIS turned on at the moment. And if we step down, field of view. So at the moment it's set to wide. Press that and we've got three options, well four options. We can turn it off and we've got wide, middle, narrow. I'm not quite sure what happens if we turn it off because I didn't try that to be honest. 
I just compared wide, middle and narrow and did each one with image stabilization on and image stabilization off. And when you have a look at the video footage that I shot, you'll see there's a significant difference. With image stabilization on, it makes no difference which of those you select. It does its own thing. But just out of interest, I'll just go down and turn it. Well, hang on. Let's go back to narrow. Uh, let me go back up and turn off image stabilization. Yes, there we are. So that's off. Are we out of focus? Sorry about that. So I've got EIS off. Then we go down here. And field of view is set to narrow at the moment. So let's just see what we can see. So. Right, so that's narrow. Field of view. Go down one more, that, that's off. So we go for off. Okay, that's field of view off. Hold it in again. Field of view wide. Does that look any different? I'm going to have to watch the video back. Let's go into photo instead of video. That's video. Mm. Well, yeah, it's different settings for photo and video. Right, hold that in again. There. Field of view. Oh. I didn't select it, did I? That's better. Field of view wide. That's why we didn't see any difference. Right, that looks different, doesn't it? Does it? I may have cracked my problem. Fixed it. Oh, recording, I didn't want that. Hold it in. Select that. Let's go back to off again. Field of view wide. Change that to off. Select it. Mm -hmm. So that's field of view off. Hold that in. Press that again. Uh, no, hang on, I want to turn EIS on now. So turn EIS on. So we got field of view off, EIS on. Right. Okay, I'm gonna have to go and watch the video back to see if I can see the difference. So we can just see the width of that with 
EIS on and field of view switched off. Hold that in. Turn EIS off. Yeah, EIS is making it narrower, isn't it? Because it's using the wide field of view, but EIS crops around the edges so that it can focus on the bit that's moving. And I've cracked my problem. I left field of view wide, I should have turned field of view off. So EIS off. Field of view off. And that gives us the widest view. And if we go back up there, there was also distortion correction, which might be necessary. Right, I apologise if I've gone in and out of focus, because I've been looking at that, not looking at the screen, which I've just touched and messed everything up. Come on. Yeah. Okay, rambling video. But I think I may have solved it talking to myself. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.